Are you listening? Damn. Chris Pratt is back in the fucking news. God, this guy cannot take a news cycle off. Uh, so he's gone from uh, being attached to voice Super Mario to now he's being attached to voice Garfield in uh, the upcoming Garfield movie. I don't think they reboot kids' movies like this. I think they just kind of make new ones. Um, so it's going to be a uh, new Garfield movie with Chris Pratt attached to voice Garfield. I think we're almost at Chris Pratt saturation. I think we're almost there. I think I think the the backlash, if it hasn't already started, uh, is coming. I think people are are done with Chris Pratt. He has some very conservative political views that he keeps very quiet, um, which I think has helped him continue to get jobs. But I think if new if he starts to make any sort of splash about being anti-vax or pro-Trump or any of that stuff, his his leash will his run will end. Um, I, I think we're almost there. I really do because every time his name pops up, I can almost feel Twitter roll their eyes and go, "Ugh, now what? What's he cast in now?" Because he's not great. Like he's good. He's good. He was excellent on Parks and Rec. He was fine in the Jurassic Park movies. He's really good in Guardians of the Galaxy. But he's not Ryan Reynolds. And I think that they're trying to kind of force him in as a Ryan Reynolds. Um, he's like a like a QAnon Ryan Reynolds. That's That'll be the clip. QAnon Ryan Reynolds. Well, that's the label I'm stuck with for him from now on. Because that's how I'll be thinking of him. Good luck with that, Chris Pratt. Thanks for listening.